Hello everyone. Welcome to Silicium Tech. Today we will see about ECU abstraction layer. ECU abstraction layer consists of uh, interface modules and external drivers. Interface module contains the functionality to abstract the modules which are below it. It also abstracts the hardware realization of the devices that are connected to the ECU. For example, let's say a sensor is connected to the ADC channel and an application component wants to use this uh, information and irrespective of which port and uh, which pin of the ADC channel and or the ECU uh, this sensor is connected to uh, this is uh, abstracted by the ECU abstraction layer so that at above the RTE uh, the application uh, can access it via some generic uh, IDs instead of directly accessing the port and pin for example, in this case, application could possibly use a RTE API like this. RTE call get sensor data uh, and arguments could be a temperature sensor 1, comma data. So here the temperature sensor 1 is uh, just kind of ID and uh, this is not directly uh, related to uh, which pin or uh, which port. Uh, this uh, sensor is connected. This will be indirectly related by the ECU configuration but that doesn't affect the code of the application or the ECU abstraction layer. Another more general example is the CAN interface module CAN IF. This provides generic API to the uh, CAN communication modules irrespective of uh, the number of CAN controllers within the ECU. Also, this is irrespective of whether the CAN controller is present within the microcontroller or uh, it is connected uh, outside of the microcontroller. Now let's move on to the external drivers. So the external drivers are for the devices which are located on the ECU, but uh, these are outside the microcontroller. For example, we can have external ESCO prom, external watchdog, external flash, uh, we could uh, have external RAM uh, also. For example, if we take the external ESCO prom, uh, this external ESCO prom could be connected via SPI to the controller. So in this case, uh, the drivers for the external ESCO prom will be in the uh, ECU up, uh, abstraction layer, and this uh, driver will connect to the ESCO prom via the SPI uh, driver, which is located in the MCAL. Similarly, uh, the other uh, external components are also accessed via the drivers in the ECU abstraction layer via the drivers in the uh, MCAL layer. ECU abstraction layer can be uh, grouped into following parts communication hardware abstraction, IO hardware abstraction, memory hardware abstraction, and uh, onboard device abstraction. We could also have this uh, crypto uh, driver ab abstraction. IO hardware abstraction abstracts the hardware layout, that is the microcontroller pin, but this does not abstract the sensor or the actuator which is connected to the pin. So this layer is microcontroller independent but ECU hardware dependent. Next one is the communication hardware abstraction. Uh, this abstracts the communication interfaces. Uh, already we have seen the example of the CAN interface, CAN IF for this. Again, this is microcontroller independent, but uh, ECU hardware dependent. Similar to CAN IF, uh, we need uh, the interface layer for the other communication channels as well. For example, we need the LIN IF or Flex IF if we want to access the particular communication channels. As we discussed, this layer provides a level of abstraction. Uh, so for example, uh, application is used to uh, access the external uh, flexway uh, channel uh, and uh, at a later stage, this if this is changed to a internal uh, flexway driver, uh, yeah, this uh, application code part will not change at all. Next is the memory abstraction. Uh, this abstracts the location of the memory devices, uh, the e square problem and flash. This layer also has a, a flash ESCO prom uh, emulation facility so that uh, the flash uh, device can be uh, simulated like a, a ESCO prom or it can be used uh, like a ESCO prom. Next is the onboard device abstraction. This abstracts the onboard devices. Uh, the onboard devices are devices which cannot be classified as a sensor or actuator. For example, uh, we have the watchdog. Uh, and we have the watchdog interface layer for abstracting this uh, watchdog. Uh, we could have the internal watchdog driver or external watchdog driver. Next is the crypto hardware abstraction. So this uh, provides an abstraction to the crypto drivers. So the crypto interface will abstract uh, from either the internal uh, crypto uh, hardware or the external crypto hardware or 
uh, it could be also that we we don't have a crypto hardware instead of that we have a crypto software irrespective of what kind of uh, cryptographic uh, stuff we use uh, this uh, interface provides a layer of abstraction to the above layers that's all for today if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section please do subscribe to the channel and share the videos